I really didn't like being in the male changing rooms. They were, I felt really uncomfortable there. I didn't like the, the smells or the sounds. Do you think that's fair? Yeah. What is a woman? Is a question very few sane, well-adjusted people have to ask themselves. It was put to a bunch of people who fall outside of that description by Matt Walsh in his controversial documentary What is a Woman a couple of years ago. And it's a question that's now landed in the Australian Federal Court. On April 9th, the highly anticipated and hilariously named case of Tickle vs Giggle kicked off in Sydney. It only lasted three days and we're still awaiting official judgement. So what is Tickle vs Giggle all about? Well, this chick called Sal Grove launched a mobile app in 2018 called Giggle, an app for women made by women. It was basically a networking, social media, support and advice type thing for chicks. Then along comes a transgender woman called Roxanne Tickle, who joins the app then gets booted once Sal Grover realised he was a biological male. So Roxanne Tickle basically wants a couple of hundred grand from Sal Grover for discrimination and cyber abuse she faced over the case. And sadly, I think she's going to get it, in this round anyway. I mean, Sal Grover might take this to the High Court. She's expressed that she would. But I think Roxanne Tickle's going to win this because of some changes made to the Sex Discrimination Act in 2013 by our then Prime Minister and ironically our first female Prime Minister, Julia Gillard. The changes basically included gender identity into the definition of sex discrimination. So as the law stands, Roxanne Tickle has a pretty good chance of winning. Sal Grover effectively needs to get the law changed. Now what really annoys me about this case is that Roxanne Tickle is fighting this on the basis of gender identity. He identifies as a woman, so the government allowed him to change his birth certificate, driver's licence, etc. to female, which doesn't make sense, even if we're to grant the progressive position that gender is a spectrum and can be fluid and changeable, because they'll also argue that gender and sex are two completely separate and unrelated things. It's fucking crazy town. And this whole argument comes down to one thing. When Sal Grover created her app, she intended it to be for females only, not males who identify as women. She made the mistake of using the term woman in her description because that's how people have described females until like two minutes ago. Anyway, here's a bit about Sal Grover from the woman herself, or female herself if we're going to be spastics about it. In 2018-2019, I got the idea and developed and created a social networking app exclusively for women. So it's basically where women could go to find roommates, freelance work, you know, like a Twitter-style um, forum, uh, with lesbian dating, emotional support. I mean, you could, like, lots of different things. Like, you could connect with women to become pen pals if you wanted to. Like, just, we tried to think of so many different um, things that women would want to connect, like women all around the world. I'm being taken to Australian Federal Court by a man who claims to be a woman, and the Australian Human Rights Commission has intervened in the case on his side. And I have to raise the Federal Court $500,000, but there's a huge chance that this case will go to the High Court, so I have to raise a million dollars to fight for the right to say a man is not a woman. That's basically where we are. Wow. Don't you think the whole thing's a bit nuts? I think it's completely nuts. I think, and I think that the law is based on evidence, and there's just no evidence that men are women. I mean, you can try and destroy women's rights. You can try and destroy women's spaces. You can try and, and insist that men are women, but it tomorrow morning men will still wake up men. The truth will still be the truth. Reality will still exist. I had absolutely no idea that there was any question, any controversy over what a woman is. I thought that this was pretty established fact. Yeah. Trans rights activists found the app and thousands of them invaded it. They left us one star reviews calling, saying transphobic and bigoted, calling me a turf. I'd never heard that word before. Yeah. Basically, they put us in an algorithmic black hole that we could never get out of. I didn't know that we had so blindly yet perfectly walked into this sex versus gender war where people were saying that any man could say he was a woman and be accepted as that. I mean, we, we couldn't have, you couldn't have planned it better. And so I'm not sure exactly how the trans activists found us, but they did in that testing phase. And because we didn't have all of like the onboarding features set to how they were going to be for launch or anything. Just we were inundated with thousands upon thousands of men who created profiles saying kill turfs and rape turfs. 
This case is about sex. It's not about gender. I discriminated on the basis of sex. A woman is an adult human female, and that was accepted by everybody until men decided that they wanted to be women. And the only way for a female-only space to exist is if it excludes males. So we're going to be arguing that. And then also um, that CEDAW, which was created to protect women from all forms of discrimination, does not cite gender identity as an innate attribute um, of being a woman. Now, this is going to be the interesting part of this case if it ends up in the High Court. CEDAW is a UN document that was created at the UN in 1979. It's been signed and ratified by a shitload of countries, like I think 186 countries, and it's what Australia's Sex Discrimination Act of 1984 was based on. And CEDAW doesn't make any mention of gender identity. In fact, it says in its preamble, the convention defines discrimination against women as any distinction, exclusion or restriction made on the basis of sex, which has the effect or purpose of impairing or nullifying the recognition, enjoyment or exercise by women, irrespective of their marital status, on a basis of equality of men and women, etc, etc, etc. So should this end up in the High Court, which I think it will, she's going to argue that the Sex Discrimination Act of 1984 came about because of CEDAW. And CEDAW doesn't mention gender identity, it only mentions sex. So the changes to the Sex Discrimination Act in 2013 are unconstitutional. That's what I think her argument's going to be. And if it works, then the same argument could could very well work in any country that signed off on CEDAW. So this could have a worldwide effect on the stupid retarded fucking question we're being asked recently, what is a woman? And maybe the definition of woman will be something a little bit more solid than I didn't like the smell in the male dunnies. I really didn't like being in the male changing rooms. They were, I felt really uncomfortable there. I didn't like the, the smells or the sounds. Now this whole case started with a complaint to the Human Rights Commission and it could have ended in conciliation had Selgrover submitted to the Human Rights Commission's conditions. But have a listen to what they were. The conditions for me to go to conciliation were that I'd have to let him on the app, all men think we were on the app, um, an apology, attend sex and gender education, which could only be re-education because I am very educated on this issue. Like I can teach <laughs> death class. So they want to re-educate her. They're saying you can avoid court here if you reinstate this dude on your app, apologise and change the way you think about reality. How fucking 1984 is that? Anyway, here's the AAP summary of the case on April 11th. Judge to ponder what is a woman case as hearings wrap. Arguments in a landmark trans rights lawsuit have returned to questions of biological sex and gender identity as three days of hearings concluded. Roxanne Tickle is suing the Giggle app for girls and its founder Sal Grover for $100,000 bucks over alleged discrimination based on her gender identity a federal court hearing was told on Thursday. Miss Tickle is seeking an additional hundred grand for aggravated damages based on an online campaign allegedly waged against her by Miss Grover largely on the social media platform X formerly known as Twitter. The court heard Miss Grover has persistently misgendered Miss Tickle in media interviews and across hundreds of posts about the case made to her roughly 93,000 online followers. In her closing submission Giggles barrister Bridie Nolan labelled the figure being sought as grossly excessive and said Miss Grover should be free to engage in political speech that may offend others. This case is the what is a woman case, Miss Nolan told the court. One must be able to speak about it fearlessly and frankly. Miss Tickle's lawyer, Georgina Costello, told the court her client had received an enormous amount of online hate as a result of Miss Grover's actions. The continued deliberate misgendering of her cannot detract from the fact that she is a woman, Miss Costello argued. Yet yeah, argued based on what? Because she said so? Because she got the government to say so? Has Sal Grover Grover said the law is meant to be based on facts and evidence. Several supporters of Miss Grover travelled into state for the hearings, holding signs outside the courtroom stating the definition of a woman to be an adult human female. A crowdfunding campaign established to help Miss Grover's defence raised close to half a million dollars, the court heard. Miss Nolan argued Miss Tickle is a man, and it was therefore lawful to exclude her from the app due to provisions in the Sex Discrimination Act. She told Justice Robert Bromwich the court was faced with the impossible task of determining whether a person is a woman based on their psychological state and having undergone surgery to remove their reproductive organs. When a person thinks they're a woman, what are they thinking, Miss Nolan said. You cannot reduce a category in discrimination legislation to a thought. Single sex spaces such as women's change rooms and toilets partly exist for the purpose of women defending themselves against male violence, Miss Nolan submitted. When a woman walks through a dark part at night and hears male footsteps behind
behind her. She does not stop and think, I wonder which side of Kmart this person shops on, the lawyer added. She laces the fingers around her keys. She speeds up, Miss Nolan said. If a man were to have the psychology of a woman, they would know that and they would not enter those spaces, she said. Justice Bromwich will deliver judgment at a later date. Yeah, and like I said, I don't like Sal Grover's chances because as it stands, the Sex Discrimination Act of 1984 includes gender identity in its definition of sex. But if she's got the wherewithal to take it to the High Court, then fucking great. It'll be an interesting watch and hopefully it'll inject a bit of sanity back into Australia. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Session, session, you better die